This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, but it's not just any day in the arena. I'm recording from the hashtag sponsored Wizards of the Coast early access Kaldheim event. And that means for one day I get access to a million gems and all the cards and this totally stocked account. But I have to give it back tomorrow. And we had a great stream, went for a lot of hours. Um, I think over eight hours, something like that. Uh, a crazy amount of support from the community. Over like around 2000 viewers most of the time, unbelievable. So um, thank you to everybody who came out to the stream. And when it's all said and done at the end of the day, I certainly am often exhausted and tired but I'm also riding the absolute high that comes with doing a stream like that for so many people and entertaining so many. And in that moment, I said, you know what? We can still make a YouTube video for tomorrow. So you guys have fresh content on the tube the next day. So that's what we're going to do. That's the way it's going to be. So what are we going to play? We're going to play Legendary Ramp. And the reason I'm going to play this deck is because it requires a lot of rares and mythics that I may not craft or want to craft right away. Uh, featuring the World Tree, and I actually activated it while playing this deck. And also featuring four copies of Kinnon, and four copies of Magda, four copies of Cos Cosmima, which I totally plan to craft, but four copies of Issaca, God of the Tree. All right, something I have to remember. Even though I've made four videos for four days in a row talking about the important and overrated cards from the set, there are going to be people who just will not watch those videos. It's not gameplay. So I have to explain what cards do. Jasper a Sentinel. One in a green for one to reach. Tap an untapped creature you control to add one mana of any color. It's not quite Gilded Goose or Birds of Paradise, but when you tap a Magda Brazen Outlaw, which when you tap it, it creates a treasure token, no matter how you tap it. You make a mana and you make a treasure. When you combine it with Kinnon, Bonder Mage Prodigy, who says whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, you may add one mana of the type that permanent produced. You get double mana from the Sentinel and double mana from the treasure. So it ramps up super fast. Kazima, God of the Voyage, you play it as the Omen Keel quite often in this deck. There's a million miles of text. It was my number one card for the set. For an in-depth look at this card, Please watch any of my videos. There's so much text on it, and there's so much to talk about with it. It would take the whole intro. The God of the Tree gives all of your legendary creatures the ability to tap for mana of any color. When combined with Kinnon, this is absolutely nuts. Um, it just generates so much mana off all these legendaries. Magda can tap itself for mana and make a treasure. Um, one Clothis, one Perforos as two gods that can be fetched up with the World Tree. Four gold spawn dragon to keep the pressure on the opponent and make the treasures that make the mana, and three terror of the peaks and four genesis ultimatum for the combo explosive potential. In a beautiful world, we play Sentinel, we play Magda, we play Kinnon, we make a million mana, we cast genesis ultimatum, we get terror of the peaks and gold span dragon, we get Asika god of the world tree, we get Perforo so everything has haste, we go absolutely nuts. So. We were definitely able to do that in a few games on the stream. Let's see if we can recreate it for the YouTube crowd. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. In case you missed my teaser video yesterday, my account is human token number 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 because they had technical issues getting accounts created for this event. And it looks like I'm a human token against a human token. Just pretend it's day nine. Easy. Just pretend I'm fighting day nine for the funsies. Oh my goodness, this hand. I mean, is this just... Okay, we're, we're keeping. That I'm sure of. I'm not sure how it's going to work with playing the Kinnon. If we play the Magda, we j do we just play the Kinnon? We just have everything on the battlefield. They've got snow covered for us. Swarm Shambler. Okay, if they're green... If they're green, they don't usually have a lot of ways to remove stuff. No, cancel attacks. Wait, why is it... Why did it skip directly to that? It's not the way it's supposed to work. Okay. Well, it's working now. I guess watch out for that. It might, the auto skip might skip you right through that phase. It doesn't realize I have a play because it's not an intuitive play. 
because you have to make the mana, then you have to make the treasure. So watch out for that. Oh, that was that was that was interesting. All right, how much mana can we actually make here? Okay. If I play this and legend rule it, like, it just replaces itself. So there's not a good reason to do that. But this is one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay. Uh, Perforos. Let's do it. This will be fun. Now everything has haste. Shout at him a little bit. Next turn, do we get the Kinnon ability? It's close. Yorvo. I mean, look at they're curving one, two, three like a boss, too. But this. Oh my god. Alright. Blue. Tap this. Still can't do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I get the wrong color? Because I can't get a red and a green out of this? I guess I got the wrong color. Wow. Oopsie. Uh, if I play this, does that fix it, though? No, because I don't have another way to tap it. All right, then let's just activate the Kinnon. The ability to look at my top uh, something, 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 get a human, or there we go. Oh, my goodness. And now the, the, this taps for mana now, too. And this taps for mana because it has haste. You see, You see how this gets crazy? All right. So, let's... New Magda. Keep this one. Blue mana. Makes a treasure, too. Uh, Omen Keel. Um. I guess we ultimate him next turn. Go. Alright, let's see how much you can do to me. They've got snow-covered forest, so they could have the card that draws a million cards. Ah! Okay. Takes out the omen keel. That's vicious. It's a mean play. Maybe I should have seen the gem razor coming from mono green. That that that's a mistake, I think. No, well, no blocks. Let's see if we can win the day here with everything having haste off this ultimatum. Okay. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. The world tree is here. Fresh Kinnon. That's a lot of mana. Let's keep this one. Alright, now we can activate the Kinnon's ability and try to hit something good. Terror of the Peaks and Goldspan Dragon. Let's get the Terror. Still didn't turn on the Perforos, but we can activate the Kinnon and try to use the Terror to kill something mid-combat, which I guess... Or no, we can't. We don't have enough anymore, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess we could hit something and use the Perforos to put it into play. So that's what we try to do. We tap this. We try to draw into something to get the Perforos into play. Ugh. Oh man, I don't want to lose like this. Give me one more turn, Mono Green. Why you have to be so cruel? Should have attacked. No, shouldn't have. Would have been eaten. Should have attacked with... No, it's legendary creatures have vigilance, right? Yeah, can't attack with that. All right, we can block there, block here. Take one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we are dead. Unless something works out perfect. All right, they're doing it. They're doing it. Um, if we tap this for mana, yeah, it's bad. So we, how do we do this? I guess we have to kill something with the terror. So we should block the gem razor and then hit something with the terror. One, two, three, four, five, six. That kills the horn beetle. That's how we have to do it. Because otherwise, or no, it's not lethal on its own. It's down to one. All right. So we just have to kill the shambler block. All right. Sack for red. Sack for red. 
And it's all on the draw with this triome. And it is not quite there, is it? Not quite. We need a gold span dragon there. It's too bad. It has to be a red creature, too. Ah! Well, you saw what the deck can do. I just gave him up a mana short. Probably my own fault, somehow. Probably my own fault in there, somehow. Those human tokens, man, they're all over the place. Going off with human tokens. <laughs> okay. Okay. Am I supposed to play the Omen Keel? Against Death Touch? Probably not, right? Not a lot of point to that. Can we get we can get Kinnon down. If we draw an untapped land next turn, that's awesome. If we don't, it's kind of a disaster, right? Okay. Do you guys believe? Do you believe in untapped land? Look at this world tree destroying our hand. Ah, look at me. I'm Kinnon. Bonder Prodigy. Is our opponent on the poison plan? Yeah. And they're already coming in hot. Not blocking nothing, man. I'll just take my poison counters. Alright, that's a draw, but it doesn't have haste. That's too bad. Would be nice. Ah, there's my poison counters right there. How about that? Ow, ow, up to six. Just play one more death touch creature and we're probably just gonna die unless we start blocking. So now this has Vigilance, but that's not really it. Let's go ahead and play this so we have a blocker. And see if we die. If I die, that's fine. I'll, I'll die happy. I'll get poisoned to death. I can take it. All right, not yet. It's 10 poison counters, right? And we're getting two for each death touch? Wait, what happened? What did I miss? Oh, I was at six. Okay, I was just dead. I get it now. I'm sleepy. Give me a break. Ah, the dreaded human token mirror match. <laughs> Man, this deck has a way of drawing its hands. It just has a way of drawing the cleanest hands. Oh, look, a foretell. Okay. I guess we can play the red and the Magda. See if the opponent puts something on the board. They could also have Cosmos Charger, which running into that is pretty frustrating. Okay, they foretold another card. That's nice. So, do we put out a Kinnon? when we know that this is what they're up to? I don't think so. If we put this out, they'll blow it up with Doomscar. So I think that the play is cycle the Trion. Try to get another to another treasure out of our Brazen Outlaw. Every treasure is a pretty good treasure. Kinnon doubles them up. Of course, we have to expect to get countered eventually. Oh, okay. Interesting. They can shoot the outlaw, which I'm sure is a perfectly fine play. All right, two cannons. So, ultimatum next turn if they let me have it. They've got to get the Kinnon off the board, or they have to counter the ultimatum. 
they're an eco deck, they're probably a Skyclave Apparition deck. Come on, stay sharp. <laughs> stay sharp. <laughs> and it's a shard. Oh, they're getting. Uh, they're gonna get it. Okay. Um, do we want to thin the deck? I guess so. Well, we have Kazima, our bull, ourselves. Wrong land. Blue, blue. Green, green, red, red. Wrong land. I guess. <sighs> Wrong land. That's frustrating. I guess we'll do this instead. Nice. That worked out. <laughs> that worked out. This is my blue... So I had a great time playing a Nico Eris, Kazima, blue-white deck. Although it looks like our opponent's much more into Fortel than I was. I think we go for the ultimatum and make them have the counterspell. Blue, 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 red, red. Doesn't matter, world tree. Well, that's... I guess this could hold priority. That's fun. Nothing like a little negate action. And here in the early access. That's okay. We got a lot of stuff to just try to wear him down with. They'll probably have like 9 or 10 counters. Oh, never mind. They're just going straight to the... Starnheim unleashed to make angels. Counter shields down. How about another one? <laughs> okay. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. We're doing it. You're gonna have to doom scar again, and you just made two angels. I don't think you want to, but we'll see. I mean, are they going to win this race anyway? Maybe. Uh, Yeah, we'll take that action and exile it. I guess I could have made mana with it first, but I'm not even sure what I'd do with that. All right, so how do we play this? If we play the Kinnon, they'll probably try to counter that. If we play, yeah, whatever we play, they're probably going to find a way to counter it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Frickin' world tree, man. Frickin' world tree. I'm actually gonna have to eat my words and activate the frickin' world tree. I guess we wanna do it at an instant speed. Let's charge this sucker up. We're going to get another Kazima anyway out of the deck when we activate the World Tree, so that's fine. Could attack with these Legends. They just block with the Angels. We don't like that. So no attacks. End the turn. Yep. So I don't need the Sentinel to do this, so I can chump with the Sentinel. I can chump with the Sentinel. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then and then even one extra from the treasure. So this is fine. Down to eight we go. Two angels sitting on us. Gotta make it count. All right, Kasima. Fetch. Oh, are we bringing her out? We're gonna bring her out? Otherwise, why would they do this now? Maybe they're going to make more angels. Could be fine. Okay. Again? <laughs> Sure. And create a better tomorrow. Hmm. 
Let's go. <laughs> uh, they're going to have haste, right? So I might be able to do something with the mana, so I may as well grab another. It's not like it's a good top deck anymore. All right. Um, actually, we can grab a number if we wanted these out of our deck and onto the battlefield. Or into the graveyard for a reason. It's good with Terror of the Peaks when we grab more than that, though. I guess we don't... None of these are good top decks. We'll just get them all. It'll be fun. Choose which legendary permanent that you wish to keep. I'll keep this one. And this one. <laughs> do I have anything to do with the mana here? I guess on my end step I can sneak out a dragon. But that's not great either. If I had a Kinnon out, I could pump that mana into it. Uh, do we want to exile this? I guess. Get another one going. Oh, there's Terror. Alright, what do we get rid of? Don't think it matters particularly, but this is a good start. So what do we expect from them counterspell-wise? Should we lead with the dragon and see what they do? If we lead with a Kinnon, they very well could counter that. And then what? We can Peaks. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can Peaks and still Gold Span. And if they don't counter it, we have even more mana. We can also cheat with Perforos here. Okay, that worked. Holy cow. I think we should cheat with the Perforos now that I'm thinking about it. We should. All right, so. Activate Perforos. Put out Terror. Hi. All right. Um, <laughs> activate Perforos. We can also bring back Kazima. Oh my goodness, okay. So red. No, no, no. Dang it. Okay, it's going to be fine, but I didn't mean to do it that way. I meant to sneak it into play and save some mana. It's fine, though. All right. So... One of these, which one? This one doesn't have any, so we take that action and we decline for this one that draws a card. And how much damage is it? One, two, three. Are we still in our main phase? We are. So we can kill the last angel with the sentinel. Hiya. Let's go to combat. Hi. Go team. Go squad. Yes. That's that's what we were trying to do. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, I can hear it now. Look at this guy. Winning games with the world tree. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm i sure you guys see that this is absolute Timmy nonsense, right? But we did just beat Blue-White Control with their Doomscar and their Nikowiris and their Kazuma and their Saw It Cummins. We beat them. Oh, man. Not this. Not this. I've, I've played Disorganized Wizards Club three times. Every time they're playing Blue-White, which is fine. But you guys think I take forever. They take forever. All right. We're going to draw the land. We're going to play the Kazima. Nah, this hand is too bad. We can't keep it. Um, Sentinel into Magda into Kazima or into Tree. But I feel like we need the cards. So something should go. Man, this hand is perfect too. I guess it's one of these. 
Man, that's rough. Kazuma. Kazima. Funny. Alright. This is going well. Very well. Very, very well. Well, they switched to red. They've played nothing but blue-white that I've seen, so... This is new. But we wouldn't need the Omen Kill to connect and get us more lands. That's, that's the key. Okay. Is it mono red? And the Bone Crush, okay. They play mono red, guys. Nice draw. Spin the wheel. Now it's a legendary creature, which means we can actually use this, play the Sentinel too. <laughs> so nuts. It's so nuts. It goes so crazy. And we hit two lands. This one has red. So we have Magda mana. Now we just have to draw something good. All right, Bone Crush is here. Triome. Not what I had in mind. Do we send in the Omen Kill against the Giant, or do we let the Giant get held in check by the Omen Kill? I guess we can tap this, tap this. Yeah, we can play Magda this turn. So let's cycle and see what we find. Nice. We can activate the Omen Keel or tap Magda with the Jasper Sentinel. Either way, we get the treasure. But we're really going to be looking... We need a payoff. We need a payoff card. Because they've got a full hand of stuff, and we're not doing much. Okay, they're working their graveyard. And they hit a Croxa. Feels nice. Fortunately for us, if we top deck Genesis Ultimatum, we can play it. And no attacks. Screw that. Can also tap them for more mana, but there's no use for it. Gold span. Over the top we go. Or do we play Terror first? If we play Terror... Wait a minute. Let's... This makes two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. And then this taps this for four. Five. Then this is one, two, three, four. If I activate the Omen Keel five, I think that works. Yeah. Ta-da. We gamers now. We gamers now. We are out here doing it. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? What is this deck? But our, our, our game is on the table. It might be too much for them to stop the two flyers, but we'll see. I mean, bringing back Croxa won't save them. That, that I'm sure of. That I'm sure of. So this is just like, I, I did this without even having played with any of the cards. I'm sure that somebody can find an even more broken version of this. So I'm sure that there's a lot to be done with Terror of the Peaks, Goldspan Dragon, Magda, Sentinel, the God of the Tree, the Omen Keel. Like this is, this is pretty wild. And that's without drawing Genesis Ultimatum. Maybe we're supposed to have Showdown of the Scalds in this deck too. Not a great draw. So now what do we do? Do we dare attack with our Terror? I think we attack with our Omen Keel and these. The opponent really wants to trade for this. And then they would double block the Omen Keel, which means we could attack with Magda and the tree. Are, are we really just going to be that aggressive? I think so. I think so.
We gotta, we gotta kill him. We gotta find a way to kill him. Yeah, they gotta block the terror. Now they have to decide, do they double block the omen kill? Do they double block Eska and keep both zombies? And let me keep the omen kill? Do they block Magda? They double block the omen kill. It's a lot of respect for the card. All right, so we're still gonna have this so we can tap Magda for a treasure whenever. Falls to six. If we hold this card, they might be really tempted to bring back Croxa. If they do, we get another gold span hit in. But still, I might need this land. I think it's, I think it's just too bold. Let's get another blue. Man, if we had drawn Genesis Ultimatum right there, it was just over. As it is, we have to pressure them, and that's what's going to buy us more time to try to draw into what we need. Have to make them solve the Goldspan Dragon problem. Ah, they're touching it. Usually means they can solve the problem. Yep, they got it. But now they're down to a 2-2, 7 life. Um, I guess I have to have full control on. I just wanted to tap it for mana to make another treasure. But I guess I don't get to. I'm trying to put stops down. It's not letting me. Yeah, it just it's not letting me make the treasures. Okay, so that's just going to be something we've got to keep an eye on. Um, the last two draw steps haven't helped us. It's getting scary in here. No payoffs, all all bamp. All ramp and our bamp is dead. 17, six life. They say go, all right. That is a prismatic bridge. Free stuff, hype. Yeah, no kidding. Although I don't know why they let me untap with it. Maybe they have a Heartless Act too. They're holding for a dragon. I guess that would make sense. So, that would be a reason. Down to eight. It's gonna come up to this top deck. We should be able to go over the top of their mid-range deck. We just haven't had the tools. Some, some top deck to land. Oh, that's a good one. Let's activate. Kazuma Magda Sentinel. Kazuma's a 2-4. Magda won't have haste, and we don't have a way to just tap it. So it won't make a treasure. And the Sentinel would just be a chump block. I guess we'll get the 2-4. Now, when the attack comes, we're just going to lose this. So we'll play the Omen Kill and try to survive another turn. Back up Croxa. So that's six damage to the face. We can't take any damage. Okay, so all the opponent has to do is attack with all and get back Croxa. See if they find it. And that's game. Ugh. Rough. I'm gonna think about for a while in the last game if I should have been saving my creatures, not attacking into stuff. Ali Eldrazi, you got to keep your name. I'm so jealous. Let's rumble. I'm sure you're also playing a World Tree deck. Let's do this. Gonna go say hi on Twitch and let him know it's me. 
We're bros. Mute. Hello. Go get green. All right. Ooh, so we're gonna kick it off with some Fortel. I think we get the God of the Tree down. Let's run out the Tree God. Don't kill it. There's so many good things that could happen next turn if we top deck an untapped land. Come on. Come on, Ali. So Ali is also sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. We're both on the CSI team. He brews a lot of sweet, janky decks that you should definitely check out when you have the time. So this means this taps for one, two, three. So we resolve this and that. We could have attacked, I'm just nervous. Nervous they got something. Nervous he's got a trick. Ooh, okay. Fire Prophecy. That's probably bad for us. But Magda can tap next turn for mana and make a treasure if the tree is still around or if Magda's still around. Migration Path. Okay, it's on. It's on. And do we Terror? Or do we re-Magda? All right. Um... Vigilance and other legendary creatures have vigilance. Okay, so we attack first. That's something I have to get used to Terror of the peaks, baby What you got? No Oh Ollie, okay, we need a land land for the dragon and we're doing okay. All right, it's on. Should I play the Magda? Should I play the Magda? I'm sure it's not another Tomb Scar, is it? Ah, uh, it might be. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. What other foretell cards are they? Is he running? You know. Prismatic Bridge, okay. And another, f okay, there's a lot of foretell cards. Um, hmm, man, wait a minute. I can Genesis Ultimatum post combat. Cause this dragon's alive. Down to nine. Do it. I think that's game. I think we got him. <laughs> oh no, not quite. Not quite. We can Magda again and go to, okay, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're aggroing. Down to two. <laughs> Boring Clex. Boring Clex. Oh no, what does this mean? What's going to happen? What is it going to do to me? It's attacking. It's attacking. Um. We just need to, okay. We need Ollie to need to wrath, right? No blocks, whatever. Okay, if I died out of nowhere there, it would be worth it. It would be worth it. It would be worth it. Oh, it's another Doom Scar. We had a feeling. I don't know what else even gets foretold in that deck. All right. Come on. Finish it. Do we get there? Do we get there? Do we get there? 
Fire prophecy, make a treasure. Okay, draw. <laughs> oh, GG, man. <laughs> that was an exciting one. And we are back for the post-game wrap, and obviously the world tree is completely broken and needs to be banned immediately. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But I had a really, I did have a lot of fun. And no matter what shade I kind of threw at the world tree with the most overrated card in the set uh, that I deemed upon it, I will say this. I, I always maintained it would be a fun card. And it is. It is a fun card. I'm glad that they made it. Is it busted? I don't think so. I think this, like this mana engine that you see over here is very sweet. Like this can make a lot of mana. Throw in the Goldspan Dragon. Now what to do with that mana remains to be seen. This deck might be just fine. Probably would be better, quite honestly. Cutting the World Tree, adding another Terror of the Peaks, adding another way to draw cards. But, like, this is a very fun batch of rares. It's rares and mythics. It's really expensive. Craft at your own risk. I, I don't know if it's going to be good in a few weeks. I mean, a, a deck full of Shock, Bone Crusher Giant, and Tundra Fumarole just kills everything you see here. So, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced this deck is going to be a real thing. But it's a fun thing. And for this event, the Early Access event, I think it was absolutely perfect. For my first video, I think it's perfect. But don't worry. I'll give you a look into the future. I'll give you a look into the future. This deck, easiest 5-0 of my life. Watch the stream VOD, by the way. Stream VODs are on Twitch. Maybe I'll post it over to YouTube. Nah, I would get all the copyright claims from the music. But the VODs are public on Twitch. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. Easiest 5-0 of my life. Absolutely disgusting. Berkey. Birdie. Birdie. Berkey. Birdie. It's a good card. Speaking of good card... This deck is unbelievably powerful. Ugin and Valky and Goldspan Dragon. They added so much power to the Big Red, or Big Rakdos in this case, archetype. It's a little bit insane. But all of that really paled in comparison to the power that is Kazuma, God of the Voyage. Combining Kazuma with ramp cards like Cultivate and Binding of the Old Gods and Solemn Simulacrum was absolutely disgusting in this Saltai ramp, mostly Demir control with some ramp cards list. Just absolutely brutal. Smash the competition, but nothing, nothing brought it home like blue, white blink. Nico Aris, Cosmo God of the Voyage, and all of your favorite value, value machines with the one and only Yorian. Doomscar, turns out it's good. Shocking. Glorious Protector. We did it all. We played the Glorious Protector, blinking the Yorian. We played the Nico, making our Glorious Protector unblockable, attacked, bouncing Glorious Protector to bring back Yorian to blink our board and have Glorious Protector mana open to protect our Yorian. Wow. Wow. We uh, blinked Skyclave Apparitions. We brought Kazimas back and drew four to six cards and then exiled it again and then Doomscarred the board. We Seagate Restoration for half our library. Um... What a deck. What a killing machine. And you're going to get full dedicated videos on ladder with these decks in the coming days. Once I've had some sleep and I can play it in a way that is worthy of the Cool Kids Club Dojo. So on that note, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this peek at coming soon in this season, the call time season of CGB. And as always, you're cool.